Hello everyone, my name is Lawrence Luce von Einfzold. No, just kidding, my name is Silver. Welcome to Lawrence and the Limelight, everybody. This is going to be a silly little D&D podcast after show thing. We are literally, it's 9 o'clock after we've just finished our session. I have here with me Kakari, otherwise known as, um, well... Uh, what, what's your what's your game attack again? In, 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 insanity. Um, <laughs> I'm that homeless person that you guys found. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know my name. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're you're not a gamer if if you don't mind me saying, but um, your game attack is insanity. And also, we have Real Yay, otherwise known as Soft Jif. You could just say my first name. Anyway. I mean, Dark Eggs, Real Yay, Soft. What should I even call you at this point? Uh, Snatch Murphy, all, all three together. Eight, eight, eggs, eight ball, so, yeah. eight I, ball, or something. I, I always Pretty forget that he was Snatch Murphy. I'm like Snatch Murphy. Who is that? Snatch Murphy. We also have it's our just DM. From our Ooh, uh. <laughs> yes. Yes. He, words, but yes. He, he is also Sketchy. here, Sketchy. sort of. He's 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 lurking in the corner. Yes. So anyways, guys, uh, as I was saying, this is the totally unscripted, totally unofficial freaking thing. We're just going to chat shit about the episode that we recently just played. Ladies and gentlemen, what did you think of the episode? I've said it before, but it was beautiful chaos. It really, really was. Well, basically, I jumped in and went, you know what? There's too many guys here. Go away. Yeah, you and were just like... Expecting people. Yeah. Although I just wasn't expecting people. I'm going to chase that dumb. It's my god already it's like I, got, I got a critical on him i'm gonna get him i'm like i wanted to kick his ass too but i'm like he's too far now yeah <laughs> he just Every... kept going and Every... then oh my god Lothar kept chasing him yeah it's like i see him again i'm like yep no he's just gonna keep running <laughs> it was straight up like that freaking charlie chaplin song was in my head this entire episode that he's just running around the cave freaking chasing flame face oh my god so funny <laughs> Yeah, I decided to step out of my comfort zone by slapping a cunt in the face. With that was a pretty cool, yeah. Fire. Even with disadvantage, yeah. you managed to hit him, but it didn't deal much damage, but, you know, I respect it. Usually I'm yep. more reserved. And yeah, yeah. Hide. Yeah. So. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. And, and, oh, no, he <laughs> came in and left. <laughs> He's like, no, yeah, I'm out. They, they, they knew what we were doing and then just went, yeah, no. <laughs> it wasn't quite there, was it? Didn't deal enough damage, but zombies can be difficult to kill. Mm. Well, yeah, that's why I switched to my galley because I was like, oh, if I try to cut this thing's head off, then I'll kill it for real. But obviously, I just shouldn't use my fucking galley because I have a better you know hit chance on my rapiers. But whatever. What you, what you do is you just beat them. You just beat them until they until they're repulsed. Yeah, yeah. Interesting, interesting. You, you cut because in D and D you can't aim for a spot, or can you aim for a spot if you want to? You you can. Usually, it's not uber effective. Um, there's no like specific rules for it, but I do like the um, people have made like homebrewish rules where it's like you take a pretty decent penalty, but say you aim for someone's like eyes or like try and cut off their arm, like a couple hits and at penalties, and eventually you will get through. Interesting. So if you wanted to like go go for like proper headshots, you could, but it'd be like penalties. You'd get extra to damage, but yeah, yeah, okay. It kind of depends. Yeah, yeah. Because I went for a headshot that one, didn't I, when I went to go slap him? Well, that one was more flavor, I felt. If, if you wanted to like, do a, de a dedicated, like, not just for flavor, like a um, like a tactical and a, like, uh, no, I want to go for a headshot to do extra damage or impose some kind of effect on him, then it's something that kind of has to be said. Otherwise, it's just flavor. Yeah, I know, you, 100%, you burnt his like, face. Uh, I'm pretty sure my character reacted that way because she freaked out because you know mm. that zombie was dead and then suddenly they were not. So mm. yeah, well, that's it, yeah. slapping him was not a tactical move. It was just a holy shit. <laughs> Very yeah. cool. Freak out. Oh yes, yeah, Sakari. Probably do in real life. Indeed. Uh, w would you uh, would you like to go in in depth a little bit about your whole seasonal thing and how you're able to change elements depending on your feelings and stuff? Because that was kind of interesting, hearing how the the teleport works and stuff. I thought that was just one of your spells. Oh no, it's actually to do with being a seasonal elf. The fun thing about Kakari being a seasonal elf is I just 
thought that sounded cool. I didn't actually look into it or anything. And when I wrote uh, her backstory, I said she was a wood elf like four times. And then I was like, oh, she's not. So uh, I saw the stuff for the seasonal elf, obviously, on her character sheet. So I had to quickly read up on it the first time. But what that is, is uh, I'm th- not sure of all elves, but uh, elves do a face step, which is kind of like a teleportation. Mm-hmm. But seasonals uh, have like an added bonus where depending on their mood, uh, they can get like a seasonal effect. I see. So, it's a long while ago now, but if we remember back in, like, I think it was, like, the first dungeon, um, Kakari was angry because she got slashed across the chest and it exposed herself to the entire party. Yeah! And she used the Fae step to teleport into the room where everyone was in, and because she was angry, she used the Summer. Yeah, I remember that. Which, yeah, that was the, uh, the fire blast, yeah. Yeah. It only did one damage, but happened to help kill them, but, mm-hmm. you know, like, she did a lot of damage. What, uh... Uh, Lawrence was asking was her f- for her to use the spring step, which she would have had to be happy for, which is where she can touch someone and teleport them up to 30 um, steps. Gotcha. Yeah, but, my, my idea know, she, was to... Was yeah, yeah. <laughs> true, true. Yeah, my idea was to get you to teleport me to, like, the edge of the room, and then I could use my dash action to get even further, but, oh, wait, I'm an idiot. This cave is pitch black, and I can't freaking see anything. So... Yeah, so even yeah. if I did teleport, you still would have been fucked. Like. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That was my idea in that Where moment, at the very least. Where am I? Who are your people? Who? I, oh, I do. I added some, like, comedy. Yeah, yeah. The fact that you keep comedy. forgetting that you can't see. Exactly. Is amazing. Oh, dear. <laughs> I do, I do like your, I like your Ukmar blessing, Rilie, of how you're able to light your shield up and be like, oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> it's always a, it's always a good helpful one, especially good for use for a flashback. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's also a nice uh, role play because yeah, his deity is Ukmar, Ukmar. and so it, it, it's just nice little flair and flavor to be like, no, I'm gonna pray my actual god I like and name that. it and name it. It's, it's some good shit. Oh, so, actually, well, I'm, yeah. trying, I'm, just, I'm just trying to add more flavor to. Oh, it's like because basically after after basically leveling up, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, I have an extra deity that I need to pray to. Let's do yeah. this. <laughs> which, which which is good rather than just be like, yep, yeah, I cast light. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's it. I, I pray, I pray, I pray the Lord uh, to guide my way. Mm. <laughs> which yeah, just nice little flavor and addition to the it, character itself. It, yeah, yeah. It just adds Speaking of, really, uh, if you would like to go into a little bit more depth, so you're a cleric fighter, is your character? Yes. Yes. Main 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 fighter at the moment, but I am I am a, double, a two point up to two levels in both at the moment. Two levels of both, interesting. And clerics, yeah, clerics are pretty insane in D and D, aren't they? Like they have heavy armor and they have all uh, like holy spells and stuff. I don't know much about them, but a friend of mine played one, and he was an absolute troll. Being a cleric is all I remember. No. Oh, because they have a lot of like necessarily you can do either damaging spells, healing spells, or just complete Tom Frawler with them. Yeah, they seem quite versatile. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, clerics definitely have like a weird stigma of being like, oh, you're just a healer though. And it's just no. like, no, 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 no. <laughs> There's so many attack spells, like, especially higher level than shit like Spirit Guardians, which is just like an AoE of fuck you. Interesting. Um, Second level spells, first level spells, yeah, no, clerics, but everyone's like, oh, just healers, it's like, no, fuck you. They've, and, got, you they've know, got buffs, they got buff spells, debuff spells, it's just like, oh, anyway. It's crazy, it heals, mm-hmm. fucking damage, um, and then you get, you know, people like Soth who are just like, yeah, now I've got 18 AC, what are you gonna fucking do? Very nice. <laughs> And then uh, there's actually a buff. I can put a holy shield on me to erase that by two. So. You could. You could have 20 AC it. <laughs> Just be Jesus. like, you wizard do. Hit me, fuck it. Good luck. You have to roll to that 20 all the time. Fuck you. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Lawrence had some good uh, good moments in this episode, too. That first zombie where I used parry, it's kind of a shame that I picked parry instead of repose because I freaking rolled eight on my superiority die, so that would have been big damage on him. But I suppose I've saved my temporary hit points for when I got shot. So, in the end, it all worked <laughs> out, I guess. Uh, the, the, oh. no, the problem is with um, wait, you can use you can use parry you can use parry when you actually it goes through. Yeah, you yeah. Other one replaces yeah. when it misses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's kind of like so, yeah. So, yeah, you, so, you, you saved yourself from taking. Yeah, you saved yourself from getting mm. hit 
and terribly damaged. That's person. true. Yeah, it's it's kind of like yeah, because a post is specifically when a person misses me. So yeah, I suppose I'll have to try and judge when to use which and all that kind of thing. Yeah, the battle master is pretty pretty interesting so far. I'm enjoying it. Was it worth waiting all this time for getting one level of rogue? Probably not. But here we are. Hmm. Well, now I've got to choose between do I go and fighter and actually specialize or go into cleric and specialize. Interesting. That yeah, is yeah. definitely. Actually, I think you chose your cleric specialization at level one with your um, life domain. Oh okay. yeah, the domain. But I mean, I mean, when I get into like the the extra class stuff that I've seen. Hmm. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably just going to keep like... going levels of fighter. Oh yeah. I was gonna say, I do want to admire like how many times we've attacked our own team member, like literally, self, and like he's just like, okay, <laughs> that's never really happened. Get mad, just, just kind of looks at us and is like, okay, <laughs> but can you try and hit the enemy next time? Like, <laughs> well, yeah, like we had we had two nat ones this episode where we shot our teammates or something. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah. in terms of damage, you guys actually hurt each other more than the enemies did. My god. Start giving out awards. I did not hit my team member this episode. <laughs> <laughs> you get a gold star. Oh. Yeah, the problem is, I, when, it came, when, it, when it came to your one, the, on the fuck, was the first or second episode, where you mm -hmm, basically yeah. parry, parry an arrow and hits me instead. Where I just wanted to be cool and add flavor, but it actually ended up being an actual thing and it hit you. No, no, because, because, be, no, no, because I actually went, you know what? I'm going to make that try to hit me because you're right next to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that was a self-inflicted, self uh, also beautiful moment of like, can we make him roll? We're like, all right. And then I'm pretty sure you were on a nat one, which oh is like, God. yep, nope, he fucks up. He sure does. <laughs> You fucked up. Me. Like, roll, for, uh, roll for a hit. It hits. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Basie, is there a very darker version of this episode where I get absolutely mauled to death by zombies and then the rest of the party just gets beaten up by these guys without freaking... without Rillier's huge um, uh, turn on well, dead? Yeah, uh, Lawrence running into the middle of zombies definitely would have gone probably pretty poorly for him mm -hmm. if there wasn't a turn undead that made them all fuck off yes um there was quite a lot of enemies in that cave yeah there, there was a bunch and you know they're zombies so they're not particularly bright or smart so the first thing that came into their view would have been like oh no i'll, I'll attack that so yeah Lawrence would have been a prime target to be smacked around and then surrounded Yes. You have, you have 14 AC, and you're gonna be right in the middle there. It's hmm. like, well, see, now we now we know and we learn. I only have one reaction per turn, so my plan was to just use all my superiority die at once and just parry yeah. and repost yeah. everybody. Yeah. But um, yes, we all know yeah. how that went. I, I, I can appreciate that plan. You only have four superiority dice, and there was eight en nine enemies in that cave. Hmm. Mm. Okay, well... <laughs> Even then, the math doesn't add up, my friend. Yikers. <laughs> well, this is why we need true healers on our team. Mm. Well, I don't tell like, I am. I am sent to second one, yeah. but I'm more of a sub healer than anything. Sub Truth be told, oh, true healers yeah. is Apex. One healer, it's good. But if that healer gets fucked up, then people are fucked. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just how many times my fucking despair, the spare the dying is not as led to people not being just outright dead. Pretty much. People just, saving they just stop relying on on you to bring them back from the dead and me to heal them. <laughs> like, like I think spare the dying is a uh, what is it? Um, it's not an actual yeah. spell. It's a cantrap, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah so as yeah. much as you need. Yeah, it's as much as you need, but. My healing spells are literally spells, like, if you keep using them all up and getting yourselves hurt, I can't fucking heal you after a while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you need, you need, yeah, you need, a, you need a long rest to replenish any of that stuff. Yeah, I do. We do have that Revivify scroll thinking. as well. Yeah, but that's a, that, I, I have a chance to use that. It's not yeah, a yeah. Instead of, yeah. like, relying on spells and scrolls, maybe you should stop trying to fucking die. <laughs> 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 I have just an adventure idea, in my Mr. blood. Run, runs into a fucking dark hallway, screaming like an anime. Adventure. Girl. Well, like I, I play. Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess I play ballsy because it's more entertaining, but also that's just the way Lawrence is. Like, he's just a kid at heart, essentially, and he wants to adventure and explore, but at the same time, it can get him into trouble, I suppose. So, yeah. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm just amazed he's not dead yet, honestly. Oh, oh. <laughs> Probably something like, to do with Barnaby. Indeed. Probably. Well, like. Does definitely feel like how many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Old man. <laughs> oh, that's teach an good old man name. new lessons, apparently. You can't teach an old dog new tricks, exactly. Apparently, fucking not, because we have to teach her the same tricks every time. <laughs> yes. I feel like, just looking it up at him, real quick, I can tell you, Soth, what you need to roll to be able to uh, cast Revivify. Revivify! Yeah. The, uh, the DC. Would be. Oh, hold on. Okay, it's gonna take a little bit longer to do such than I thought it would. The DC is 10 plus a spell's level. Revivify is a third level, so you need to roll a 13 wisdom to cast Revivify. Interesting. Revivify. And this is after a person is dead and they have to have not been. Like, you have to cast it within a minute of them dying or something like that? Within, within a minute. Interesting. Or try not to die as so, much as this one. What, what is this? A, 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 a defibrillator? A defibrillator. Essentially. E effectively, yeah. So, yeah, you touch a creature and it, it's died within the last minute, like died, died. And yeah. they return to life with one health. So, right. should we place bets on who we're going to have to use the scroll on first? Or, well... you know, who we're going to have to use the scroll on? You're not going to use it on me because my second character is built into Lawrence's backstory and it's going to be Pog. Hey yo! A second character. Yes, I, a second he character. has an idea for another character. Mm -hmm. I've chatted with, about it with Basie. I don't want to reveal it to the rest of you guys because it's kind of a big deal and mm -hmm, character backstory and stuff. But um, yes, essentially, I went in in depth in Lawrence's backstory so much that I have a second character lined up in his backstory for in the eventuality that he dies or he wants to move on so i'm not really sure if i'm ever going to use it but i've just i i thought about it too much and here we are so yeah i have but, a spoiler um, it's uh it's lawrence's son it's lawrence jr incorrect he's also but close a, a fighter a fighter rogue also fighter rogue that's not very optimized and set as lawrence Te terribly optimized and fighter rogue yep <laughs> it's, it's my son yep looks exactly the same looks exactly the same Acts we call exactly the same. we call him Lawrence Jr. Just really quick, kiddos, on this little tangent that we were going on here, I just want to mention something really quick. Um, if you're the kind of person that if you're playing D&D, &D, and if your character dies, and you just legitimately, like, make a clone of your character, and is like, no, I just want to keep making this character so I make a clone. If you're that kind of person, I absolutely hate you. Why, literally, why would you do that? Just, like, <clears throat> Kind of a hot take, I know, but um, that just that just triggers me so much. Like, I suppose in the eventuality, like, if you wanted to continue this character and you were just very annoyed that they died and that sort of thing, but like, if your character dies, just make a new one, and it's a new chance to grow, and you can make a you know a whole new character, and it can be super cool. Just like, oh, that oh, it really triggers me if you do that. But anyways, guys, uh, tangent over. Let's get back to the actual thing, shall we? Is yeah, Florence. Florence. And he talks like this, mate. Oh, yeah, my name's Florence. Or... Okay, I'm definitely going to kill him. <laughs> yeah, no, he's got a, he's got a fire. Oh, yeah, my name's Florence, governor. Yeah. Me father talks like a British guy, but I talk like a Cockney British guy. Oh, yeah, I'm Florence. <laughs> In it. In it. <laughs> In it, mate. We have different mothers. <laughs> different mothers? I'd hope so. Didn't you say it was the son? Yeah, so you would mm. hope so. Yeah, but you yeah. never know. I bloody you hope so, know. but with Lawrence, you never know. Can you come from the Alabama day? Alabama. Sweet home. Yeah, the family tree is a wreath. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a fucking circle, mate. It's a circle. Yeah, it's a wreath. That's what a circle is. Very nice, very nice. It's very painful to hear you talking about new characters when I'm literally fucking shading. Oh, <laughs> when I'm literally <laughs> shading Lawrence. Well, yeah, like I don't know. I just, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna, if I'm ever gonna use it. Maybe there's a there's a future where Lawrence just goes about his ways and he survives, and then I go to my second character. Or, well, like I've kind of weaved it in a way that it kind of has to be like Lawrence dies. But I mean, I could maybe weave it in another way. But I don't know. It's it's kind of whatever. You know, you got that damn shotgun there. Yeah, uh, shotgun. Yeah. 
I don't know why, but my first thought to you saying all this is like, Lawrence is like, tally ho, good friends, it is time for me to leave. And we're just like, okay. And then you like do the thing where you pretend to walk downstairs or yeah. some shit. Like you act out that you're walking downstairs and then you come back up and you've just got like an obvious fake mustache on. And you're like, <laughs> it is me, Greetings, travelers. Florence. I'm Florence. <laughs> oh, how you doing, Gavin? Yeah, how you doing? Just a okay. very, very bad accent. Very, well, yes. Well, this is this will be exclusive content for Kakari and Rillier, but also for anyone watching this video, but whatever. My second character is a druid and um, that's all I'm going to say. It's a pretty sick idea, but uh, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Is it a healer or okay? You can't really say. Well, you can give more away with every sentence. Yeah, with exactly. Every sentence, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, if you happen to uh, watch the uh, not another D and D podcast, there are actually a bunch of cool dudes. Um, in that podcast, uh, I vaguely designed my character off of moon off of moonshine from that podcast. Uh, she is a circle of spores druid, and I think it's a very cool idea. She's able to, as a bonus action, throw poisonous spores every turn, and it's just like extra damage. And by the time she's level 20, she's doing like 10 extra damage on her bonus action with these poisonous spores. And uh, yeah, Circle of Spores Druid sounds really cool. So yeah. Yes. Shout out to Red Pod. Totally stole the idea. Totally Basically. stole the idea. <laughs> well, I mean, I just think that playing a Circle of Spores Druid sounds kind of dope. So yeah. I mean, that's, that's fair. I mean, yeah, it kind of does sound pretty dope. Indeed. I actually completely forgot what, what circle I went with. Shepherd. <laughs> Shepherd. Shepherd, so you lead why. sheep, Lamau. No, there was a reason why, but I completely forgot. <laughs> Interesting. Oh well, I'll figure it out. Oh well. <laughs> it'll it'll come up at some point. I think it was something to do with healing or some shit, because mm -hmm. I wanted to be a healer. I went up to Basie and I was like, So what do I what what do I do? I've never never really done this before. And then he's just like, I don't know. Whatever you want. And so I was like, Do they need healers? And he's like Eh, mm. I guess don't have one yet. <laughs> Might be a and good that idea. Is how I became a healer. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this episode of Lawrence in the Limelight, episode one. We have uh, my beautiful players, Kari and Soth, and also Basementosaurus. Maybe in the next one, we will actually have a single person who we're putting in the limelight, and that's what I intended for this series, but it doesn't really matter. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.